Hey guys, it's Corey B, aka Binger. I am outside today because it's a beautiful day, but also I want to show you how I launch my DJI Spark and catch it in my hand. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while now, and especially during the winter when, when the ground is all wet and you don't want to put your Spark on the ground. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because recently in the DJI forums, which by the way, if you're not part of the DJI forums and you have a DJI drone or product or you're thinking of getting one, definitely join right now. It is a great group of people that maintain and post content in the forums and it's fantastic. If you have any questions about any of their products, I'm sure it can be answered or it's already been answered in the forums. But anyway, I was in the DJI forums recently and I was talking about the best way to get a GPS solid lock before you launch your Spark. And I said the best way that I do is to launch it from my hand. A couple of people said, well, how do you launch it from your hand and run the controller at the same time? So let me show you that right now. So the first thing that I do is I take my phone out of its case because I have to mount it into the, the controller right here. Um, so once it's out of its case, I make sure the Wi-Fi is on and I turn on the controller by pushing this button twice here. And once that controller is on for maybe 10 or 15 seconds, I pull down my Wi-Fi. I don't know if we can see that with the lighting out here. Here it is, Spark, I connect to my controller. I always do this first so that I can hold my controller in one hand while I'm launching my Spark. It seems to work for me. So next, I launch my DJI Go 4 app. Launch that app. So once I have that going on my controller with this hand, I grab my Spark in my right hand and I push this button in the back twice and I turn it on. If it's noisy out, I kind of listen to hear that fan to make sure that it's working, which it is. Now the next thing I do is wait, see my app right here, I wait for this to connect. Now once it connects, it's going to say go fly right here. So now it says go fly, so I'm going to go fly, and this is going to take me into my flying control screen, and I don't know if you can see it right there, but right now it says no positioning. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. So I have zero GPS right now. Well, no, sorry, it's already up to nine. But the reason I like to hold the spark in my hand during this process is because I know that my driveway has re-rod in it and if you set your spark down on anything metal or any cement that might contain metal, or if you're near maybe your car or something else that's gonna cause interference, you won't have a solid GPS connection. So in times where I'm really struggling to have a good GPS connection, I like to hold my drone up and just kind of circle like this. I rarely have to go through all of that for my Spark. Usually if I'm having trouble connecting to GPS, all I gotta do is hold it up like this. Whatever it takes to connect to that GPS. Now here is how I launch it with one hand. I've got my remote control in my left hand and I've got my thumb on one of the joysticks, the left joystick. I've got my Spark in my right hand and I simply take my pinky and my thumb and I start up the spark. It's as easy as that. Once it's going, I can push up on my thumb control, and there you go. Super simple. When it's time to land, I simply pull down and land it. Now, you may have problems with the spark landing in your hand at night because it has a sensor looking directly down. Um, and if it's too dark out, it might not see your hand. It might come down into your hand a little bit faster. But if it's daylight, it will actually slow down before it lands in your hand. It's really impressive actually to people who don't know anything about the spark when they see it coming down really fast and then slowing down and you catching it in your hand. They think you're an expert at this, which hey, maybe you are. It's super simple. Like I said, I've been using this technique all winter long. Either I want to keep it off the ground, keep it out of the water and slush and snow and salt or it's to get that better GPS lock. Um, but hopefully, if you're not using this technique already, you can use it and it'll help you. All right, guys, thanks for watching.